This is my one year review, a very fun review. I'm gonna make you a deal. We're gonna do a great review on my brand new 2020 F350 limited diesel tank and have an empty power stroke, amazing truck. Heads, you like the video. You watch the video, you're very enthusiastic about the video. Tails, you tail out of here and you leave and you don't like the video. Ready? We're gonna flip, boom, heads, boom. Now you have to watch the video, you're stuck. Okay, you know how hard it was to find this truck? Very difficult. In 2019, I had a very big tax problem and I usually have a guy named Adam. I reach out to him, I said, Adam at Ford, please get me a truck. And he said, T, I would love to, but trucks are no longer available. You are on your own, buddy. And I said, that's a problem. Why can't you get it from another state? And he said, it's gonna be way, way easier for you to do it. So I said, all right. I found this truck in Colorado, got the deal done. The truck with financing, warranty, taxes, it was a hundred and nine mother thousand dollars. This is worth $33. This is a, a, a silver coin. I bought this for $33. Do the math, 109,000 divided by 33. I do want to show you some things with the truck. Pros, cons, things I love, things I hate. There's one big thing that I absolutely can't stand about the truck, but they did fix it. The update fixed it. When people give you news, do you want the bad news or the good news? I'm going to pick the bad news. Let's do it. The bad news, the one thing I absolutely hate about the truck, the biggest feature in this truck is Apple CarPlay. That is my favorite all-time feature. You plug the phone in and boom, you have literally Grand Theft Auto navigation, boom, right in the center console. This truck, it didn't do that. Every like five, six plugs, it didn't work. I had to, I had to turn the truck out, get out the door, lock the truck, and just sit here, sit here, sit here, and then like 10 seconds later, unlock it, start it, and then you're ready to go. And then you plug it in, it works. Annoying. I took it in to the dealer. I said, dude, this thing needs an update. There's something wrong with the tech. They updated it. It works. Every single time I plug the truck in, it works. It's perfect. It's amazing. That is a con. Another con is this thing's a pain in the ass to park, but you're like, well, T, come on, dude. Like a little respect. It's a truck. It comes with the territory. I know. I'm just making shit up a con. Another con, it's too expensive. $109,000, holy moly, guacamole. It is a lot of coin, baby. And you'd be like, why'd you buy this truck for $109,000? Are you an idiot? Are you financially illiterate? No, I just like the truck. Leave me alone, man. Free country, America. I do what I want, you do what you want. I don't criticize you. Don't criticize me. Give me a pat on the back. Now, let's go with the pros. What I like about the truck. Let's walk around a little bit, come on. Two days ago, we spent an hour and a half, two hours shooting this video, and then Cameron, he spent six hours editing it and we just went upstairs and we played it and I was like, Cam, this video sucks. I'm like, I am falling asleep. Very, very boring. I'm like, it sucks. I'm like, I just wanna walk around, show the truck. Like, pretend like you are looking for a truck, you're in the market and you wanna see why this truck is amazing. So I'm like, dude, scratch the whole video. He was very upset. He's like, oh, blah, 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 blah. I was like, get your ass out of here. Let's go. So come on. Okay, the headlights. I'm comparing this truck to my 2016 Ford King Ranch. Here's a picture of it. The truck was sick when I got it. I was very, very impressed. This was the nicest vehicle I've ever owned in my life until 2020, last year. This truck is way nicer. I'll tell you why. LED lights, this is sick. This is one of the sickest features. When you're like riding at night, it looks amazing. And these are on in the daytime. The grill, the grill's really cool. Another amazing feature, the cameras. These cameras, I have a, There's a bag talking shit. right in the middle of me making a video. No respect. No respect. When I'm trying to pull into a space and I don't know how far I am from the tree, I just push the camera button. Boom. It turns on. Like, do you know how amazing that is? There's no blind spots in this thing. Okay. We have hooks. I can hook up anything. Another great thing. I knew for sure I wanted a white sparkly truck. And you'd be like, well, T, sparkly, that's a little gay. Whatever, bro. This thing looks sick. Look in the sun. Like the reflection. It looks amazing. Sparkles, metallic, it's called Oxford White with like metallic sparkles. I just made that entire thing up, but it's sick. It is sparkly and it's sick. Look at these rims, okay? 20 inch rims, okay? These tires are fire. Tires are fire. Your truck is locked, right? And you'd be like, well, damn T, uh, how do I get in the truck? Do I have to like push unlock? No, dude, you don't. You just go up here with the key in your pocket, handle, and it opens, magic. But watch this, watch this. I'm gonna give the key to Cameron. Okay, we're gonna lock the truck. All right, now watch this, the truck is locked, right? The truck's locked, I can't get in. Ah, oh, thank you. So we get in, okay? And then, you 
you want to lock the truck, right? You push this button, boom, the truck is locked. And if you do this, it won't work. You have to put your hand inside. Like, and look at this. This thing keeps going in and out, in and out. Look at this, black seats, white in the middle. I don't know if it's black on white or white on black. I'm not really sure, but it's amazing. There's so many cool little gadgets here, okay? Look at this. I have a glove box. You can lock the glove box. And then I have this little thingy right here that pops open. I keep safety glasses in here. And the seats, they move up and down. These are massage seats. Like you can literally go down the highway and get a massage. Like, do you know how crazy that is? Do I use that feature a lot? No. Should I? Yes. Very 2020, very futuristic, very impressive. Let's go to the back. Uh, we have a GoPro here. So if you ever break in my truck and you want to steal something, definitely take the GoPro. It's a very good idea. Now, what do we have here? Now, what do we have here? This is a little cubby storage. This is lockable, but it's unlocked as of right now. So I have a hose here. I have jumper cables. I have extra sneakers. If I ever mess up my sneakers somehow, if I ever like walk in mud or step in dog shit, or something like that. I have extra sneakers. Look at this. There's like a little secret compartment here. This thing comes down. Wow! I have an extra hat. I have pants and an extra shirt that I'll never use probably. I have a pack of gloves. Flippers! If I ever go swimming somewhere, I need flippers. I have an extra bag. I have a jack. I'll never use this jack because I always call it AAA. You think I know how to change a tire? That's for men. A little center console, a little drink holder action. Very, very cool. Wow. All right, we're popping this baby open. We have plans for a job. This is a very nice job. This is a $300,000 job. I just closed this job two days ago. I have a tripod for my cameraman because he's weak and he can never hold a camera. I have a hat. I got gloves. I got an umbrella. Hey, hey. Tape measure. That's pretty much it. You can literally plug in USB-C, USB, I mean, a cigarette lighter, phone charger, a blender plugger, whatever you want to do. Storage here. What do, we, what do we got here? We got some money here. No money there. If you ever break into my truck and you want to steal a credit card, I always keep a credit card right there. So, a limited. This thing lights up. Ford gave me some, like, janky-ass little floor mats that, like, if you, like, the whole carpet is trash. So, I got the WeatherTech floor mats. It's very nice, very clean. And I like them a lot. Features that I love the most. Obviously, the push to start, you don't, I mean, you don't need a key to open the door. Look at this, everything comes forward, everything is beautiful, it's amazing. My favorite feature is literally Apple CarPlay. I told you this before, it's amazing. Plugs in, goes straight to the screen, bam, done. Uh, the steering wheel is very smooth, man. I'll tell you one thing, on my 2016 King Ranch, the steering wheel was very, it was smooth compared to my 2006 Armadillo, but this steering wheel, it's like you're driving a, a little car. It's amazing, it's so smooth. You can you can literally turn with one hand. Now I have a, a four XL trucks for my employees and the steering wheel is heavier, there's no question. So they did a good job with the steering wheel here. We have four wheel drive, four low, differential lock. We got sunglass holder up top. We have these jetpack switches. If you're sitting in this seat and you have your if you have your seatbelt on, I open the sunroof and then I hit this switch and you just boom. You get shot up and you're gone into this. That's why the truck was 109,000. The tints on my truck, 5% all the way around, double five on the sunroof, 50 in the front, five here. I should definitely show you some cool features from the tailgate. I really love the tailgate. Let's go in the back, come on. Another thing that I absolutely love about this thing is the tailgate, it's phenomenal. Usually. You have to go and you have to open the tailgate by hand. Double tap. Magic! Little fun fact about Limited. Lariat, King Ranch, and Platinum are their high-end models, trims. You can choose options within the truck. You can get side steps, you can get LED package, you can get this and this and this, all this. You can literally customize the entire truck. Limited. You have very few options. Number one, color. Color is an option, the safe is an option, and then you have like a double alternator package. It's very few, like a handful of options. This is the pussy step. You push the button. Ah! Oh, for you senior citizens that need a handle. Oh, what a rough life. Good thing I have my handle. 
Um, the one thing that I love about this truck is at nighttime, you can, there's LEDs all around the truck. So all you gotta do is you get in here, you push the button to start. Okay, the truck goes B -D -D, B -D -D. Okay, now watch this, right? Let's say you wanna see the front, you wanna see what's in front of you. Push the button, boom. This is literally the camera I was talking about facing forward, it's amazing. And look at this. You can see all the way around, 360 degrees around the truck. The back, the sides, the front, the right side. So at nighttime, when you put it in reverse, all the lights are on and you can see the truck exactly like this. It is absolutely beautiful, phenomenal. Honestly, like now, 2020, 2021, this is, this is like a safety feature because what if there's a little doofus running around playing football at night and then you run over the little doofus because you didn't see him. Now that concludes my full extensive review. Was it a fun review? Was it a boring review? I've seen a lot of reviews about trucks. They're kind of boring. It's like, damn, bro, don't you have a personality? Like live a little. The truck. Is it a good purchase? I think so. It fits right in line with my needs and wants, and I absolutely love it. I feel good in it. I enjoy the truck. I absolutely love it. Highly recommend it if you are able to spend $2,000 a month on a vehicle. Now, remember in the beginning, we did, we're gonna do it again. To subscribe or not, 67% of you are not subscribed. We're gonna leave this all to chance. Heads, subscribe, great video. Tails, you don't subscribe, you hit thumbs down and you leave very angry and you block my channel, all right? Flipping coin now. Boom! Heads. It's only fair. Two-Face. Do what Harvey Dent did. You live, you die. This is another very, very top feature. That's very top secret with the Ford. It can go off-road.